The variable API is another descendant of the app API and provides a mechanism for working with click variables. It exposes the following methods. To put it to good use, we're going to look at how we might add what-if analysis to our web application. Using the APIs and a bit of web development, we can create the functionality with surprisingly little effort. Our ClickSense application already contains a variable called vWhatIf, which we'll be using in this example. The current value of that variable is set to 1. Using the Visualization API, we'll create a KPI object that takes a measurable field and multiplies it by the value of that variable. We then need a mechanism to update it, otherwise the value of the KPI won't change. So in our web page, we'll add an input element of type range and add a few extra attributes to set the min, max, step, and value properties of the slider. To connect the slider to our JavaScript, we'll use the onChangeEventListener and have it call a function named updateWhatIf. We'll pass in the event parameter. In the JavaScript, we'll then create that updateWhatIf function and have it expect the event value as a parameter. With this, we can extract the current value of the slider from the events target using the value as number property. It's important to manage data types correctly here to ensure we send the correct value back to click. The next step is to call the click variable API and more specifically the set num value method to update the value of our v what if variable. This method accepts two parameters the name of the variable to update and the value to update it with. The variable API, like the visualization API, is available via our app object. However, in our current code structure, app isn't accessible within the update what if function. So for this code to work, we first need to make the app available, which we'll do by changing it to a global variable like this. The nature of click and the capability APIs mean that we don't need to explicitly update any objects. The click engine manages the call to update the variable and will subsequently instruct any necessary visualizations to reevaluate and update. And there you have it. With a few lines of code, we've implemented what if analysis. You can stay up to date with all of our content by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on social media. If you'd like a more interactive learning experience, then head over to webz.academy, where you'll find our full set of training courses complete with hands-on activities and much more.